Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new series of Yuhua and Friends. And today we're preparing the series with Heidi in Closet. Hi Heidi. Hi, how are you darling? I am feeling amazing and thank you so much for your time. Of course, thank you for having me. Excited to be here. Oh, <laughs> you sound very excited. Oh, I'm always excited. Let me ask y'all, who's Easily the excitable. official bootleg queen now y'all? Who's more bootleg, her or me? Y'all vote in the comments below, okay? Heidi, do you know what PrEP is? PrEP is something you take once a day to prevent HIV by 99%. Mr. prescribes PrEPs and delivers it straight to your home. Mm -hmm. Operating in 50 states, including DC and Puerto Rico. It's a totally free service working with nearly 100 nonprofit organizations to help make PrEP available all over the country. You can consult with a licensed physician online secretly, plus they also follow up with STI testings every three months, all happening in the comfort of your own home. Wow! It says if I don't have insurance, I'm covered as well! So go to the link in the description and sign up with PrEP with Mr. We definitely need to keep our sexual health up to date. Now, in this first episode, we're gonna talk about pet peeves, okay. alright? Fabulous. What do you think about pet peeves? Um, pet peeves, for me personally, are things just that just irritate you. Like, they just get under your skin. I personally don't have a lot of pet peeves because I'm just, I, I'm trying to go be, be like, go with the flow, don't let things bother She's you. She's very person. relaxed. She's I very try relaxed. To, I try to be at times. <laughs> I asked her earlier, I was like, girl, come up with like seven to eight pet peeves. And she was like, girl, I don't have Do you mean name. each or together? I was like, each. And she was like, girl, I don't have that many pet peeves. And I was like, girl, you're not really a Karen like I am, right? Because sometimes I can yeah. be you Yuhua Karen Saki. Oh, when I'm on the phone? Yeah. And I need and I need results? Oh, I turn into a full white woman. Yeah. On the phone. Yeah, you should. Oh, honey. Now, according to the dictionary, a pet peeve is defined by something that is a particular person finds especially annoying. Does that mm -hmm. even make sense? Yes. A pet peeve is something that someone really finds specifically annoying, particularly even. Now, <laughs> for example, <laughs> one of the pet peeves... <laughs> Now, I'm gonna give an example of what a pet peeve is, okay? Okay. Okay. Give it so, to me. One of my pet peeves is that bitches showing up not in full drag. Ain't that a shame? <laughs> this not say that's a shame, dude. But you know what? Here's the thing, though. Her flight landed really late, and she was like, girl, this is the only time that we can do it. So, we approve this look because it is on brand and especially bootleg. Uh, no, it's all brand. <laughs> it is very I on brand. I live obsessed with that. Oh my goodness. So you want one of my pet peeves now? Um, I have one more example. Oh, okay. Give me one. Give me <laughs> it's, one. It's not about you, girl. <laughs> no. It's not about you. Another example is my pet peeve is Drag Race is now 60 minutes instead of 90. <laughs> and yes, I know we're going back to 90 minutes in the next month. Thank goodness. Thank what do you think about that? Is that a pet peeve of yours? A peppy for me. 60 minutes. I I mean, it has felt like a fever dream watching the last couple episodes. I'm like, wait, weren't they just trying to do the challenge? And oh, they're on the runway already. Oh, yeah. what's happening? Okay, so there's a rumor going around that it was planned all along. Do you think it was planned? I mean, I don't know if it was planned, but I want to know what they're going to do when they put it on streaming services and the episodes are just going to be shorter than the rest on like Paramount or wherever they take it to. Like on Patreon. Like you're gonna they're gonna put it on Whoppers as Plus and those episodes specifically are just gonna be fifty minutes and the others are gonna be like an hour and oh 20. girl, fifty minutes, that's being generous. That's gen that was generous, yeah, for sure. Um I don't think personally that it was planned because it just looks weird, like you said, on yeah. a service. Like you have the earlier half of the season, forty two minutes, and the rest, what? Like 65, 60. You would think it minutes. would go shorter. Yeah. Honestly, I thought they would have done like what they did on the last half of the season. Like if they were gonna have the spot open for like those six weeks and the episodes had to be shorter, it would have made sense to do it sh like towards yeah. the end because there was less girls. Yeah. So there was less like just like because when you get down to like f five and six girls, it's like okay. It's like girl. We don't. Yes, have we much understand to, you've been struggling, girl. We, don't have we much understand to talk about at that point. So. We understand you have problems and you know you're trying to get it through this challenge. We understand, girl. Mm -hmm. And then basically you'll hear it again and then talk again. <laughs> and we'll talk about it and untucked. There's and no we'll... more fights and untuck anymore. I, the girls be so nice. So Give nice. us the like, drama. Give it to us. We want fighting. We want drinks being thrown. <laughs> if, <laughs> those early seasons of untucked. Oh, girl. Wild. Those people would have gotten so many, like, messages via social media. Oh, the people, oh, the wild fans that, like, the really toxic ones, <gasps> they would have, like, 
ate the girls. Mm-hmm. A lot been, of fan they favorites would have been, been ravenous. The other way around. Now, back to pet peeves. What is your first pet peeve? My first pet peeve is passive aggressiveness. Okay, let's define passive aggressiveness for those viewers that don't okay. know what that means. So, Myself included. <laughs> so, passive aggressiveness is so the concept is we're in a car. And one person is driving. They're mad. They're not uh-huh. mad. Like, oh, no, okay. They're not mad. And then the person here beside you, they're not mad. But it's the person that's in the back seat that's also telling you how to drive. They're mad. That, to me, is what passive aggressiveness is. Who the fuck is mad, then? This, the, sounds, the, <laughs> this sounds like a fucking pop quiz. <laughs> Bitch, I'm lost. But basically, it's when, like, you, like, have, like, this. there's a feeling, there's an aura of, like, you are mad at someone but you don't want to say you're mad at that person but you're like still like snippy and like you're not mad so who's but innocent in this situation no one honest. okay so this, like, like, so this okay let's start again forget, forget the car forget the car no, i want to figure out the fucking car bitch. Forget the car. i want to figure out this because okay so this person is mad no so they're not mad they're not mad so how are they feeling they're feeling like they can feel the madness so how are they not innocent? They are not innocent because they did something, apparently. Oh, so they did something, but they're apparently, not mad. Apparently. I don't know their business. But they're not mad. And this person is mad or not mad? They're oblivious. But they can feel something, too? But they can feel it. Okay, did they do anything bad? No, they're the innocent. So there is someone innocent? There is someone innocent. Okay, cool. I know the back focused earlier. Okay, so the person in the back is... The one that's mad. Okay, because they did something. Because they did something to them. Okay, that they misinterpreted. Okay, cool. And also, like they're looking at them, thinking that they're gonna say something, but they're not. Oh, so in terms of, I guess, passive aggressiveness, it can be defined as someone who doesn't like confrontation. No, because my ex was very confrontational. He was very passive aggressive at the same time. Okay, it, it's like you're not mad, but you're like you're clearly mad. Give me an example from your life. Okay, so I had an ex. I'm going to go straight to yeah, it. I know what it means now, but we're going to dissect into this, okay? So I had an ex, and I would, I would be, I would just, I would sit around the house on the, the days off that I had. I would sit around the house. I would do little things here and there, whatever. And then, wait, wait well, how did we even get here? You're, you we have just, to give an example, too, girl. Like, just, I'm trying to figure here. out why passive aggressiveness is a pet peeve of yours. He so. would walk in the house, and he would just have, like, had a bad day at work. And then he would just go lock himself in the, his bedroom and uh-huh. not talk to me for hours just because I worked from home. And he's so he's almost like punishing you. Yeah, in a sense, for no reason. Yeah. Okay, and this was before Drag Race or after Drag Race? After. After Drag Race. Well, he did it before too, but okay. it really started happening after. Okay. Yeah. So do you feel like it might have to do with like jealousy? Maybe. He used to be a queen back in the day, so okay. maybe. Okay, I can see that. So do you think I that- was a lesbian back then too. And I support that. You can date whoever you want, okay? I'm not one of those queens that are like, girl, ew, ew, you're dating someone that does track? No, bitch. Go fuck and suck and lick whoever you want, okay? Love is love. It doesn't matter in size. It doesn't matter in colors. It doesn't matter in gender. It doesn't matter in sexuality. It doesn't matter in financial variations and classes. Preach. Yeah. You have spoken, Miss Yu Hall. Yeah, I'm a very open minded person. We love to see it. Yeah. I too have been very open. Yeah. <laughs> before. I was thinking in the back. But... Minded. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Both. And, and 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 why is that a pet peeve of yours? Because he would do it so often and I would always be like trying to be like, hey, are you okay? I hope you're having a good day. And he would just like punish me for not like I don't know. Okay. It was, it was so strange. So I guess it's like Lack of communication. Oh, I, oh, we're going to get there. Okay. We're going to get there. Okay, that's, so that's another that's pet another peeve of yours. Pet peeve of okay. So one of my pet peeves that I have is, if you care to know, mm-hmm. is, I don't know if y'all know, but there's something called dating apps out there. Oh, God. It's when guys would message you, or girls, you know, or non-binaries. Mm-hmm. Um, but in my case, guys would message me. They have one photo up. One. It's them wearing a pair of sunglasses. Can't see the fucking face. <laughs> okay? And then... It's I not would... just a torso? No. <laughs> I don't... The apps that I use, they don't allow just torso. They don't even... No, a word. Girl, I, I got I got banned from Grindr, girl. Really? <laughs> they think I'm um, impersonating on there. They just, Someone just reported you, sis. Yeah. They keep reporting me, so like... People love me on there. Well, they know who you are. <laughs> wow. But anyway, on the apps that I'm using now, and also previously on other dating apps, 
is guys will message me with one picture and it's them with sunglasses or like whatever the case might be and then I'll try to be nice and like right. try to give them the, the chance. chance and I'll be like can you send me more photos or let me know like where about where you are because like the app that I'm using uh -huh. it doesn't show like location like grinder like, oh okay it just tells you like where you are mm. New York New York and they'll be like yeah you first place or like send me more too I'm like girl that's a I have piece. like six seven eight photos up me selfies non selfies that far this close Smiling, not a bitch. She I gave you very Asian. I have my whole resume she up there, and you're telling headshot. me, and you're telling me <laughs> to that photo you part? want more photos or to go first? No, bitch. I hate that. Yeah, I hate that too. Yeah, you know why it bothers me? Because it's unfairness. Yeah, unfairness. That's why it that. bothers me. That's true. Yeah, okay. unfairness. I see that. Now you mentioned that. Um, uh, lack of communication is coming yes, up. Is that yes. another one of your pet peeves? It is a pet peeve of mine because I'm just a very like open like someone who just like to speak openly and freely and just what comes up comes out most of the times as well. Okay, and and there's there's a thing about when there's a lack of communication that just it just gripes my 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 cheeks. Give an example. Okay, um, so say you're um you have. A project due mm -hmm. and uh, you have to turn in something by a certain date you know yeah oh uh, I think I know where this is going does it have to do with like outfits and stuff getting made like wigs getting made in time yeah <laughs> and then the designers disappear on you girl oh my god like, they just ghost you for no reason okay. I cannot stand that I'm a very like I'm a I'm a book I'll reach out, I'll be like, hi, so what's going on over here and stuff? Mm -hmm. And it, and the thing is, I'm a horrible texter. I know. I know I'm a horrible texter. I know. I, I have receipts where she does How, not respond. However. <laughs> I'm a great texter. I respond right away if I'm yes, busy. Yes, you are. You are a great texter. The thing is, I'm either a horrible texter or a great texter. If I, When I am a great texter, the phone was already in my hand. Mm -hmm. And I was, like, doing something on my phone already. And mm -hmm. I just responded immediately. Mm -hmm. For me personally, like, be, having my phone constantly, it's just, I per ugh. You know what? I have another comment, too. You text like a straight person. Do I? There's, like... Absolutely no emotions. So. There's, there's, yeah, no, I, like, I've been no told that before. Emotions. People, like, people tell me I have such a big personality, and when I text, they're like, like "Where is your person? You have no personality like, when you talk." When I'm talking okay. to you, I'm like, "Girl, is she like? Does she even want to talk to me?" So I try to put like, <laughs> I try to put like, "LOL" at the, at the, at the whatever. I try to put some emoji in there to like make it seem like I'm enjoying it. So like, can you please reciprocate? Like, I think it's because I grew up so long without a phone. And oh. I and I never really even like was interested in my phone even when even you got it. even yeah even when I finally got it I was like just have it for like to call home or I didn't have a lot of oh. friends either. Oh no, I don't no. cry. No, um, no, when don't was cry. your sorry? When was your first time getting a phone? Uh, my first time I ever got a phone it was oh I. <laughs> Wait, how old are you currently? I'm You're younger than me. I'm 28. Okay, okay. Uh, my first phone was at 17. Okay. Um, S girl, that's the same time that I got a phone too, girl. Like, yeah, 16. But... <laughs> the fuck are you coming? You make it seem like you didn't get a phone until like, you're 23, but, 24. But... Bitch, I want a fucking hug bag. No, first world my sister, problems, girl. My she sister... didn't have a phone until she was 17. Oh, My Jesus sister had Christ. a phone at 11, though. Okay, well, that's... And she's two years older than me. Okay. So... Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. There it is. Okay. First there world problem. Complaining she didn't have a phone until she was 17. They got her a phone, and I had to pay for my own. Oh, okay. So what I did was, I uh, my my high school dance teacher, she uh, she I had long hair back then. She hated it because I had it in like box plaits, mm -hmm. and she said, "Were you serving it more than her? Is that why?" Maybe I don't know. Yeah. I, I was giving it to the children, yeah. but um, she paid me a hundred dollars to cut it off. So I went to the barber guy because she she paid for me to get it cut off too. So she uh, she cut it off. I cut it cut off. She still has my hair too to this day because I still talk to her, mm -hmm. and. Um, <laughs> Remind me, that's a teacher you said? My high school dance teacher, yeah. Okay. And, uh, Miss Allen. And, um, sh uh, <laughs> Why I, is took this funny? The, I took the hundred dollars. <laughs> so it sounds so crazy when it comes out of my mouth. But I took the hundred dollars and okay. got my first phone from the dollar store. Okay, but from what, the family but, dollar. But who cut your hair though? The barber. So, but you still have a hundred dollars left? What did you do? Like she also paid for the she paid for the haircut and gave and, you a hundred dollars. And then gave me the hundred dollars. I thought you were gonna say she gave you a hundred dollars to get a haircut, 
and you still had a hundred dollars left over. I was like, girl, what did you do to get the free haircut? Yeah, it was a free haircut, and she gave me the hundred dollars okay, to do the cool, free haircut cool, cool. because she's like, I feel like you would look so much better with shaven head. I was like, I maybe let's go. I've never yeah. been really attached to my hair anyway, so I was like, cut it. And what was your first phone? My first phone was a. Uh, uh, you go to the Family Dollar and they have like the little phones okay. that are in like the packages and mm-hmm. stuff. And it was a, it was like a knockoff Blackberry looking mm-hmm. phone. It was, I remember those Blackberries. It was really cute. Well, a phone, it's a phone. Okay, a baby, it did what it needed to do. It got me on Facebook. Yeah, back when Facebook was. You do the this one. a lot. I'm a T Rex with a little arm. <laughs> Okay, my next pet peeve is when I try to meet up with guys, like, whatever. Oh, the cancellations? Um, no, not cancellations. They either show up early or late. Oh, you don't like when people show up early? Bitch, I ain't ready, girl. <laughs> oh, you're one of those girls. I'm, I need all the time I have to get ready. You're one of no, those I'm not girls. talking about that. I'm, I'm talking about, like, I'm... No, like, just to go out and stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm talking about, like... I'm, like, I'm constantly working. Even though I say, like, I, I'm a uh-huh. bootleg queen or whatever. Like, I'm constantly working. So, yeah. like, if you, you just show- came from work. Yeah. Here, yeah. Like, uh, like, like if you show up early, I'm doing shit. I cannot be bothered right. to meet you right now. We set a time. Oh, my God. I sound like a conservative right now. We set a time right now <sighs> to meet. Karen. Yeah, Karen. Karen, Karen Saki. <laughs> we set up a time for this to meet, and this is the slot that I have right. allocated for you. So stick to it. Is yeah, or if you arrive late, bitch, I got shit to do after. Baby, we gotta go. Yeah, or I'm ready sitting here, like, waiting for you to walk through the door. I'm like, where she is. Girl, like, what the hell? Time is up the essence. It time is. is important. What, what, what's the old saying? The saying is, uh, to, be, to be on time is to be late. To be no. early is on time. To be on time is to be late. Yes. To be late is to be left. Yes, girl. Um, what about a queens that are late or early? What do you think about that? I hate a queen that's a late hoe, and yeah. that's a lot of them out there. I'm gonna yeah. say that right yeah. now. Uh, I've always been that queen that's been like, I try to be very on time. Yeah, she arrived ten minutes I, early. I try to be punctual. I try to be ready to go. But that's always been. I've always been that girl. Yeah. Even like, I've just always tried to be on time because I know like. Professionalism is a thing. Yeah. And we try, We should strive to try and be professional in all aspects of, like, dealing with other people. Yeah. Like, if you want to be, like, not on time in your re- day-to-day life where you're, like, just by yourself and not affecting other people's time, yeah. that's fine. Yeah. But when we're dealing with other people's time, other people have things to do. So yeah. I get what you're saying. People have shit sure. to do. What is your next pet peeve, then? Oh, my God. My next pet peeve is uh, oats because I can't have them. Oats? I'm allergic like, to them. O-A-T-S? Mm-hmm. <laughs> did you see that meme recently? So, no. did you see that those photos that Kim Kardashian did with like those pilgrim outfits? What girl? <laughs> One of the memes, um, the religious uh, zealots? Huh? You said pilgrim, so I said she looks fucking like a pilgrim. This, <laughs> these photos. <laughs> Why does she look like that? I don't know. She, she probably got paid to do these photos. I don't know. That's but, tr- sh- you know what? She probably got paid a cute point or two. Yeah, photos. but one of the memes that was um, when she, <laughs> her in the outfit was me every time when I eat oatmeal. <laughs> Not Quaker oat. <laughs> yeah, because she looks like a fucking pilgrim. But anyway, why is that a pet peeve of yours? Because I love oats. Like, I grew up eating oats all the time, but I also had, like, a skin condition growing up as well. Mm-hmm. Eczema. But eczema oh, can also, too. it can be triggered by something you're allergic to. Yeah. So I was like, well, damn. Yeah. All this time, I've been poisoning myself and didn't know it. Yeah. And finally, I got a test done, and it's, Came back, I'm allergic to oats. Is it one of those tests that you do where they poke, like, a yeah, bunch of they, poles? Yeah, they lay on your back, and they take these needles. They take mm-hmm. about 50 needles, and uh, you lay on your stomach. You don't lay on your back. You lay on your stomach, and they take each one and poke it. They actually mark your back first, mm-hmm. and they poke it with the uh, uh, the corresponding needle to okay. the mark that they made. Okay. And it's, like, 50 of them, and you have to sit there. And it's just the tiniest needle that can only break underneath, like, the first two layers of your skin. Okay. So it doesn't get to you, but, like, your skin is still there, so it's going to, like, react to it if you're allergic to it. Uh-huh. And by how big it breaks out each hole, it will sh- it'll show how allergic you are to it, too. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so if it's, what's... like, a minor allergy, it's, like, a little dot that'll come up. And if you're, like, really allergic to it, like, a bigger one will come up and was it expensive to get it done or I, it wasn't it wasn't too expensive no no but it definitely was helpful and really helped me with my scams uh, in a very good way so i would suggest do it if you have like coin to do it i want to do it but my only concern is how long are these like i guess things gonna be there 
Like the not reaction? that long. Not that long. Like a few hours or like yeah, a couple of days? Yeah, like a few hours. Okay. A few hours and they'll go. They'll be gone by the end of the night. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, because it's only because it, they. That's why they only go underneath like the first two layers of the skin. Oh, okay. Well, if you hate her. Send her some oats. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make nothing with oats in it, honey. I'm just feeling my oats, honey. I, I can't feel my oats. I'll die. <laughs> um, uh, my thing next with pet peeve is, I don't know if you ever you if it happens like in Vegas or whatever, but like in New York, there's shows after shows after shows. Like one oh, night, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you share a dressing room and then you go in, the dressing room is just a disaster from the mm. queen before. There's I thought you were gonna say. Everywhere. I thought you were gonna say it's just full of just. P- other people that's not in the show. Oh, that is a pet peeve like, of mine, just too. Just like 20 people in the dress room that, that is a pet peeve have of mine nothing too. to do with the show. Uh, we, we can talk about that, too, girl. But anyway, um, you go in... Uh, well, here's the thing with New York is that there's show after show after yeah. show after show in New York, right? So you're sharing a dressing room, you go in, and then there's just, like, tissues everywhere, cups everywhere. The last show just made a mess. See, that's, yeah. I, that's a New York thing, because in North Carolina, it's always just, like, one show, maybe two shows, but the same girls of the night. So, yeah. yeah I, I love that, though, of New York, that they do, like, different shows after, after show, after show. And but the thing, I'm sure the dressing room situation is strange. And the thing is, y'all can leave your outfits in the dressing room. We can't. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, see. Oh, yeah, no, I couldn't do that. No. Why? Just, just have to take it. We have if, to take it, yeah. Yeah. I can't even just leave it behind the counter or something. Mm-mm. Girl, no. Yeah. Girl, no. But anyway, that's a pet peeve of mine, because that means that I have to clean up before I can use it, and mm-hmm. that's just extra work that takes and up the extra time. time. You know what I mean? I'm not, you know, I'm not your mother. I'm not your babysitter. Yeah. You know, that was a peppy of mine. I see it. I see it. And I totally agree. Oh, you're going to say something. No, 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 no. Go ahead, baby. Go ahead. And I agree with you when you go into the dressing room and there's 20 people that shouldn't be people in there. That bothers me. There's friends of friends in the dress. There's (laughs) There's friends of friends of friends. There's friends of the friends of the friends of the queen. Yeah. In the dressing room. Like, yeah. the queen don't even know this person at this point. Yeah. <laughs> People in the dressing room. And, like, this person came with a person that knew a person that is on a first date with somebody, and that person on the first date with that other person, yeah. they're in the dressing room. Yeah. And, like, who is this person? You don't even know this person. Yeah. And why does that bother you? Because, with you? because we have, like, very valuable shit. Like, our drag's expensive, first and foremost. Also, we get naked in the dressing room. It's like a space thing. Like, I don't mind, like, one or two people if they're, like, your friends of the other queens and stuff. That's fine, but if you just... And also, other local girls mm-hmm. love when the other girls come in and be like, hey, girl, can you just really fast and then go? That's fine, too. But when it's, like, people who I don't know and, like, one or two of the other girls don't know and it's just, like... My number I'm one... I'm trying to tuck my wee-wee behind me. Yeah, my number one thing is privacy. Yeah. I'm half naked in the dressing room. And the thing is, when they bring their friends in, they're not doing anything. They're just watching you. <laughs> just They're just watching. They're just like Having this. their cocktail. <laughs> just drinking. Yeah. First of all, I'm not doing a webcam show, okay? <laughs> Unless there's money involved. Exactly. I'm yeah, not doing a webcam show. I'm in my undie. I am have no clothes. I don't have a wig on. Right. I'm vulnerable. Yeah. Not just... <laughs> I'm delicate. That's I the vulnerability know. that RuPaul is looking for, honey. <laughs> Yo. I'm vulnerable. But anyway, yeah, that bothers me a lot because they're just there watching you. They're yeah. watching you change. They're watching you, like, put your money away. They're watching you put on your underwear. Like, yeah. girl, no, you don't belong here. Like, I'm naked. Yeah. Uh, unless I'm trying to holler at you. Yeah, unless you do drag, then I then you get it. Then If like, you're another queen, okay. Yeah, then it's different. But also, I mean? another queen will be like, oh, they're doing something. I'll, I'll go. Most yeah. queens know when to yeah. tiptoe out the yeah. room. Yeah, don't bring your friends <laughs> into the dressing room, y'all. It's a very sacred place. It's sacred. More sacred than Eden's Garden. Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. What is your next pet peeve? It's actually my last one. Okay. And it's lying. Why? Because well, I, I, well, I know why, but like... My grandmother taught me at a very young age, she, you know, just tell the truth. It'll be better for you if you just tell the truth straight out versus if you lie because then you have to keep building on top of the lie and then it becomes a web of deceit and all that jazz. And just, yeah, it's just better just to be open and honest. Just tell the truth. That's what I take with myself on a daily basis. Totally agree with you. That's something that I do too. I can be sometimes harsh or like direct, but like, why lie about something? Yeah. It's gonna hurt you in the end. It's going to hurt the people in the end as well. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just be direct. Tell the truth. You don't have to keep building on that lie. Yeah, no. Trust me. I know a thing or two about lies. Yeah, w- well... You're going to use... Cut that. You're going to use that in a couple months. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're gonna, Why? You're gonna need that in a couple Why? Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 cool, okay, cool. Can you make sure you clip that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. cool. Um, yeah, that's my thing, too. Yeah. Um, which is why I also have a very small, like, circle of friends. Like, really small. Like, really, yeah, really small. I, I personally have a very small group of friends, too. Yeah. I, I, I've always had a small group of friends. I've, I, I don't... Like, I still talk to people. I still kiki with everybody. It's like we're working with each other. Like, with but I love doing tours with all the girls and stuff. And, like, kiki with all Do the girls. Do you like doing tours? I enjoy I think I thrive on tours. Do, do you like being in a bus with, like... I get... I'm okay with I, that. Oh my god! I actually it enjoy it. I actually oh really my enjoy god. tour bus life with the girls. Oh my it's god! Fun. Oh it's fun. But it has to be the right girls. Yes, that's that's. And true. I've been very fortunate so far to be on like all tours that have been with me and girls that I can cut up and kiki with. Yeah, like here's my thing though. The thing is, I like sometimes. I guess maybe sometimes I'm an introvert. Like sometimes yeah. I just don't want to talk to people. No, I get it. Sometimes There's I just don't like want to be around people. You get that too. I'm I. Thing is, when I'm not in drag, I'm I'm very much like that nerdy geek that will stay at home and play video games all day. Mm-hmm. That's me. I'll, I'll play video games and smoke some hot and call it a day. And that will be my whole day on my days off sometimes. And that's and I'm at peace with that. Mm-hmm. And so why is that funny? So I'm very much an introvert too. But yeah. people don't see me as an introvert. Yeah. Like I remember like telling people how much of an introvert I am. They're like, Heidi, shut up. I was like, No, oh, girl. But maybe I am. Your, maybe your ex um one goes into his room because he's an introvert. That could be. <laughs> and you just think that's passive aggressiveness. We solved a mystery right here. Scooby Doo no, no, Who? He, no, he was passive aggressive. No, he was passive aggressive. <laughs> Maybe he's an introvert. But no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't like liars. That was my also my last pet peeve is too. Oh, what? Twinsies. Yeah, yeah, twinsies. And a onesie. And a onesie. Now, before we close. Do you know where, who I got this onesie from? Who? I'm going to say one word, see if you can guess it. Luxury. Say it again. Give me another hint, girl. Obviously, that this, was the memorable. This, this is luxury, mama. <laughs> give, give me another example, girl. Alyssa Edwards. Alyssa Edwards. She says that. One. Luxury. On where? Around when we were on tour with her. Well, bitch, I've never been on tour with her. So <laughs> how the fuck am I supposed to know, girl? Was that Shane or was that luxury. you being dumb? <laughs> Probably being dumb. <laughs> like, bitch, how the fuck am I supposed to know, girl? If you said, like... I would have known if you said "mama, that's garbage." I would have known if you said "mama, this mama, is th- human mama, hair. this is human, mama." Back rows, bitch. I would have known. I was trying to be uh, inconspicuous. Luxury. I did. I, I didn't want to do her most <laughs> obvious ones. Girl, I've to, never been on tour with her, girl. I wanted to do something that she just says regularly. I didn't <laughs> want to do one of her quotes because then it'd been obvious. <laughs> okay, before we end the pet peeves podcast slash video, I Yossi. have a little survey. Not a survey, a little interview that I want to do with oh, you. God. Okay. Okay. Okay, this little interview is inspired by Tyra Banks. Have you seen the Tyra Banks oh, interview with Beyonce? No! <laughs> Have you seen it before? Yes. Okay, if you know what this is going, if you know where this is going, you'll understand. Okay, so this is based around your name, okay? I remember before you said you're going to do a video around your name, like Heidi in Closet, Heidi yeah. in Well, bitch. Oh my god. I got you, okay? Oh Mama, god. you got you. Okay, here is the first one. <laughs> Heidi in Closet. Okay. What is your favorite outfit from your closet? The favorite outfit from my closet? Ooh. Um, my favorite outfit. There's this really, like... Orange and gold uh, is a cat suit, but it has like this fur coat that goes okay. with it. It's also like a neon orange. Okay. It has like gold accessories on it and stuff, and I wear it with like this big curly hair that okay. just gives just drama, and I love it. And why do you love it? Because orange looks so good on me. It, looks it does. So, it looks correct mm-hmm. on me, and it make, I just feel. Orange, you glad to see her. Orange, you glad. Look how orange I look. <laughs> You see, you could have used that for the Girl, luxurious. look how orange you fucking look, girl. Heidi and Shoebox, what is your favorite <laughs> pair of shoes? The, my favorite pair of shoes is the shoes that Willem lets me borrow, her little baton. Oh, her shoes are so fierce. There's these white p- little baton pups, girl, that she lets me borrow, yeah. honey, and I feel so puss, puss for sure. Okay, what kind of pumps do you usually prefer? Do you prefer stilettos? Do you prefer platforms? Do you prefer I'm, straps? Boots? I'm a stiletto girl. Me too. I love I'm a, stilettos. I'm a stiletto girl. I have to. Or thigh high. Boots. Yeah. Thigh high looks great too. Thigh high or... Heidi and washer. <laughs> <laughs> Heidi and washer. How often do you wash the laundry? How often do I... I don't. I... <laughs> I have a service. She has a service. I have a service. I hate laundry. I hate laundry and dishes. They're not pet peeves. I just straight up hate them. 
Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I, for the longest time, never had a laundromat uh -huh. in the same building. I always have to, like, carry, like, mm -hmm. streets and streets and streets, yeah. especially in Manhattan. So, like, Oof. after I moved here, this is, like, the first time I've ever had laundromat in the same building. Love that for you. Yeah. Finally, Life girl. Life changing. Finally, yes. Love. Good job. Congratulations. Heidi and Sheets. When was the last time you got some in the sheets? <laughs> oh, the last time I got some in the sheets? Oh, my God. It's been a while. Well, know. baby. It's been a while. Well, baby. With myself? My no. hand? <laughs> no, Juggy, it hasn't been that long. The last time I got some in the sheets was, uh, when was the last time I spent the night at Baby's? It was last Friday? Okay. No, not last Friday. Okay. It was this week, actually. It was okay. Tuesday. Okay. Three days ago. Yeah, it was Tuesday. Heidi and music. What is your favorite genre of music? Your face? <laughs> You what? It's, You're like, what the fuck are these questions? My yes, favorite genre this, of music. Um, this is based on the iconic Tyra Banks interview. I love, I'm obsessed. Um, you know where this is from, I, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I love that interview. That's what I, when, as soon as you said Tyra, I was like, oh, it's going to be that one. I what, know it's going to be that one. One of her fucking questions was, Breonce, Bri what is your favorite type of cheese? I was like, what Cause, the fuck? Beyonce. She was a giving, she was doing the most. Yeah. Okay, Heidi and music. What is your favorite genre of music? I love like the old school classic, like like uh, Diana Ross back in oh, the days yes. and all that jazz. I love that. Yeah. I love, love, love that era. Of music. Okay. Like the 70s. Heidi and Stove, what is your <laughs> dish to go to? Chipotle. Chipotle? No, I would like to cook. Yeah, to cook. I'm a breakfast cooker. I, I'm not like a super like cooker cooker, but I like I love cooking breakfast foods. Why? It's they're just easier. Yeah. And they're just... I'm not much of a cooker. But either. when I do dinner, I do like a lemon pepper chicken with some asparagus that's seasoned really well. I like a homemade mashed potato though. Don't fool, don't play me. I can cook. I don't like to cook. Oh, that's a lot better than me. The the most fancy dish that I can make is pasta. I'm pasta boiling the love. fucking Noodles I and putting that. the sauce on top. I Not live. a cooker hey, at all. Hey, ramen noodles. Yeah. Instant noodles. Heidi and shower. Do you sing in the shower? <laughs> no, I'm not a singer in the shower. I'm, I I have my phone by the tub or the shower and I just press play and let it do the singing for me. I'll just be in the groove. I'm a okay. dancer. In the okay. 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 Yeah. okay. Yeah. Do you like, do like a music video in there too sometimes? Every once in a while I'll get a little frisky up in there and be like, oh. La, you feel that, like um, in the music video? A little bit. You know that video of the soap in the shower with the person's face on the soap? Mm -mm. And it says, um, <laughs> your, your bar of soap reacting to you being a stripper instead of washing mm. your ass. Wait, say that again? What? So it's a it's a video of a soap bar in a shower and it's they take their face and they put their eyes and their mouth on it and they're like just doing and the text is your bar of soap looking at you be a hoe in the shower. Because people just be dancing. Uh, with them. Being a stripper in okay. the shower. That was a very fun commercial. Another one that That's I saw in the shower commercial was this mom is behind the screen, right? Uh-huh. And this daughter it's just like sad when you're watching the commercial. You feel like, oh, the mother is in jail, right? And the uh, daughter, uh, it's like looking through the screen. Does that make sense? It's like yeah. the daughter's like visiting her in jail, right? Uh -huh. And then you find out in a wide shot that the mother's fucking cleaning the shower. She has an obsession with cleaning. She's like, mother. That's her prison. Yeah, mother. Cleaning is please. her prison. And, oh my god, that's deep. And the and the, and the, the mother's like, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. And she starts cleaning, and the, they're trying to sell like a cleaning product. I thought that was genius. It was so dramatic and so Gag. genius at the same time, too. Gag. All right, next question. Heidi and phone. Are okay. you a texture or a caller? Oh, God. I'm a caller, actually. I, I'm a FaceTimer. You're a FaceTimer. I'm a FaceTimer. I'm a face I will FaceTime someone down in a heartbeat. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I can handle a uh, FaceTime caller. Yeah, I'm a FaceTimer, for sure. What about a caller? Someone that just, like, calls you up. I hate it. I hate it, too. Bitch, Don't, if you're you going to the if, voice, man, If bitch. you want to call me, FaceTime me, for sure. Because I, I some, sometimes, if it's just a regular call, I'm like... But you know what? I'll pick up if, like, nobody that usually calls me, I'll pick up, because mm -hmm. I know it's an emergency. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like... Yeah. If it's just like I'll just let it sit there. Yeah, like, like bitch. If you want to talk about some if, shit, if if it's important, if the and I and I don't pick it up, they'll text me. Yeah, and if they text me right then, then I'll answer. And if it's that important, you'll leave a voicemail too, baby. Yeah, baby. If you didn't leave a voicemail, probably wasn't that interesting. And my before. my my friends know to Facetime me anyway. Yeah, if it's important, Facetime me because yeah. I don't. The thing is, I was never a fan of Facetime until like last year. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I just felt like weird. But when the my face, face is given. 
when the face is sitting like it is. Well, half the time, I don't you look like well this, know. girl. Oh, well. <laughs> Can't relate. No, Jeff. <laughs> it's okay. Heidi in school, what is your favorite subject in school? My favorite uh, subject in school was, you know, I, it's a tie between history and science. I love both of those. I love both of those, too. Mm -hmm. Why I history and science? History, I've always been obsessed with, like, Me too. like Greek history Me too. or Norse mythology and all that stuff. I've always been obsessed with that thing. So, and learning about other histories has always been, like, something I've been, like, that's my gem. I love that. And then science, I love just being able to see, like, the newer things and, like, just, and, like, the, like, the biology and, like, seeing, like, how... It, I love that. Okay, now it makes sense with mm -hmm. what you said. Do you remember the first bootleg opinions we did? Oh, oh my goodness, yes. I remember, I remember, yeah. We were judging Got Mixed Look. Uh-huh. It was absolutely awful. <laughs> and you kept saying, like, you love the Grecian vibe of it. I'm yes. like, bitch, this is a horrible look. Her, it was your her first time doing it. Out. I thought, in my mind, I was like, bitch, this bitch is fucking lying, girl. Like, how was, can she like I this look? I did appreciate it. I was like, how can but she yeah, like I, this look? But now that you mentioned that you like you history, go. you love, like, I guess, Grecian mm -hmm. history as well. Mm -hmm. That makes sense now. Yeah. That makes sense now. Mm -hmm. That's why I did it. That's part of it. Yeah. I was like, bitch, that bitch is lying, girl. <laughs> yeah. She does not want to get canceled, Yo. girl. Because, you know. Because yeah, they will. They'll try it. Yeah. She's, she's you know, she's white and skinny, so. <laughs> so stay away. Don't. don't. She, she has a huge fan base behind her. Just kidding. <laughs> Next up is Heidi in backstage. What is one thing on your rider? What's the one thing on my rider? Uh, I'm very simple. With my rider, it's like Red Bull, some water, uh, maybe a towel. A towel for? Like to wipe off my face. So like okay. If I'm like sweating. But okay. I usually don't need them because I don't really sweat too much on my face. Yeah. So she's like for a neck or whatever. But yeah, that's I'm really simple. Yeah, I'm very simple too. I, I don't have the need to like... Why does it keep doing that? Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty simple with mine. Like, for me, I don't have the need to have something, like, over-exuberant to just, like... The thing is, the, what people don't really realize is that when people have, like, those, like, crazy things in their riders, it's in there so specifically so that they just have to look for that one specific thing to see if the people who, like, book them d d d listen to the writer. Like, there's there's the rumors, like... There's a red M&M, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And really, it's there just because if they look and they see the red M&M, they know you read the writer and they know you're doing your job. That's literally what it's for. Not for, but like, that's what most people do that for. Oh, but what's the point though? Mm. I mean, they brought the M&Ms. Why? They just don't want to have to check and see. Like, and, uh, I, I mean, know. they obviously read it before they yeah, brought the for items. Sure, for sure. Right? For sure. But they they ask for something, not this person in particular, just in general. That people do those kind of like sp very specific things so they can just see that one specific thing and be like, oh, everything's fine then. Because they can be like, they looked and saw that one little thing right there. Then everything else is in order too. Oh, it means that the rest of the night is going to go smooth. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense then. It's almost like, a, I guess, a prerequisite or like a background check almost? Basically, basically. Okay, cool. Like a scan of like, is it going to, what's it about to give? Okay, yeah. it's, it, are, is the person that booked you like they, very detailed? Are they going to yeah. take care of you? Yeah. So far, have you, do you feel like you've been taken care of? I've been very lucky and fortunate. All the experiences I've had. Well, bitch, I, I was talking about tonight, girl. <laughs> Oh, bitch, this is my second glass of apple juice. Yes, oh, yes, girl. Yes, okay, cool. My second glass. Bitch, y'all, y'all, this is my second glass. This, see how big this glass is? A second glass. Okay. I'm going to have to pee so much tonight. Okay, cool. Do you, but outside of here, but do you feel like you've been taken care of? Today? No, not today. Oh, now outside. In general, yeah. Honestly, yes, I have. I've been very fortunate. Okay. I've been very, very fortunate. Um, All the people I've worked with have always been, like, very, like, on top of things and been very observant and very, like, making sure I'm okay. It's, yeah, I've been very fortunate. Are you okay? Am I sweating? No. I was just being dumb, girl. I was just being dumb. Oh my god, I thought I was sweating, honey. Okay. Heidi in love. Are you currently in love? Yeah, with Darian. His name is Darian. Uh, but y'all may know him as Baby if y'all <laughs> follow along. But um, uh, yeah, he's also a drag queen named Anya Behinds on Instagram. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a thirst trap. A poster. Why do you say that? Because he, he literally poses pictures of like his booty and all that stuff. In drag or out of drag? Out of drag, out of drag. But he okay. does post his drag on his okay. page okay. as well. Yeah. Now some people aren't okay with their partner. I guess being a little more explicit on yeah, social yeah. media. Are you okay with it? It's definitely something I had to grow more into. Yeah. Like I had to learn to be okay. Not necessarily learn to be okay with it. It's just like I 
went into the relationship knowing that's the kind of stuff he was already posting. Mm-hmm. So I, I shouldn't expect him to change. Mm-hmm. So I had to be like, I had to go because I my first left like, couple relationships were very like monogamous, very like st- or punish you, <laughs> punish me, and punish, not a good punish you, not like, in a good yeah, punish yeah. way either, or like put a gag uh, in your mouth, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, not that kind of punishment, not that kind of or like cuffs on you, girl, yeah, like, a different. So, kind of treatment. <laughs> it's called a silent treatment, they call it. Silent treatment. Yeah. That's passive aggressiveness yeah. in itself. Uh, but yeah. Um, so I definitely had to like, I wasn't going to ask him to stop posting yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, why would I? Yeah. Like, I, I went in knowing that's what she did. Yeah, do, so. definitely. Definitely. So, yeah. I have one last one for you. Heidi in Glasgow. Oh when was my the last, God. When was the last time you took a shit? <laughs> the last time I took a shit? About five hours ago. Okay. <laughs> was it? Um, it, was, it was lovely. Okay. okay. It was a good one. Did you lose one. like three pounds in I, the middle? Maybe two. Two pounds? It was about two. W- was it like the food that you ate today? It, I, I, I saw corn. So was it Chipotle? Because you mentioned so- Chipotle <laughs> earlier. No judgment against Chipotle. I eat Chipotle too. I like love Chipotle. It. I love it. it. It probably was the Chipotle that I yeah. had yesterday. Yeah. Okay. It was probably yesterday. So, it just came out today. Well, it was. Uh, it was a late. Uh, <laughs> late late dinner. Okay. Late dinner. I was like, girl. It was. I snacked. Well, it was probably, I was like, girl, you need to eat more vegetables. It was. Girl. It was technically the day. Okay. It was technically the day because it was like four o'clock in the morning. Okay. But... They were. Okay, that makes sense. Then I was like, girl, you need to eat more vegetables. Yeah. You need more. Yeah. No, like, it was. The... Beans in your body or it something. It was basically today. Okay. So I counted it as yesterday. Well, anyway, do you have any last thoughts you want to... Oh, my goodness. Uh, yes. First of all, thank you for having oh, me. Oh, thank you for such, your time. Such a pleasure. Also, to everyone who's listening and watching, hello. Send y'all so much love. Also, you can find me anywhere on my social media at Heidi and Closet, unless it's TikTok. It's the Heidi and Closet, as mm-hmm. well as my Patreon at patreon.com mm-hmm. slash Heidi and Patreon. See what I did there? Heidi yeah. Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> And of course, <laughs> my podcast with Jada and Miss Hall. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Obviously, are you gonna fucking plug that or no? Like, we're coming back for a season two, mm-hmm. so and it's gonna be fabulous and amazing vibes, and we're really excited about it. So make sure y'all tune in to all mom uh, podcast. Go to mom podcast. So give us a follow too, and yeah. Yeah. See you for season two. Well, thank you, Heidi, so oh, much for your time, you. okay? Yeah. I had a lovely time chatting yeah, with you, I getting had more a to know you. Time oh, you. yes, I had a fabulous time you. too. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, y'all. Hey, squirrel friends. When one video ends, just click on another one. It's called cringe viewing. Go ahead. I support you.